Hi, this is a quick movie showing you how to operate the batch processing feature of Autoquant. This will effectively allow me to schedule my data sets to be deconvolved at a scheduled time. So I can view it in a couple of different ways. I can go to View, View Task Batch, or I can simply click on the little shortcut there and it brings it over. So there are a couple of different ways that I can add data sets into it. Firstly, if they're open in Autoquant already, I can right click and simply send them to the batch. Or I could browse Windows Explorer and add them in this way. So I'm going to add this one here. I'm just going to simply drag and drop like so. And I'll add another one. Like that. Okay. So once we've added them to the task batch, we have to next set a task for them. So for this data set here, I'm going to say 3D deconvolution and they're all actually going to be 3D deconvolution for this example. We get a little green tick here when they're ready and that, that means that once I've set the time I can send them to the pending area and then they'll be ready to deconvolve at a certain time. Um, so we can see for this one here we've got a little red cross. Uh, why might that be? That's actually because the optics information isn't correct. It's not filled out on this data set. So I can simply copy and paste optics settings here I can also copy and paste operational settings so that will effectively, if I was to take this off and change it to perhaps 2D blind, if I then copy the operational settings and paste them, it should change that and make them exactly the same. So what we have to do now is set a time. We're going to say we're going to start at uh, in a couple of minutes. So it's the 10th of January today, 1708. I'm going to say start at 1709 and click this arrow here to send it to the pending area and now we have the time to launch 22 seconds so if I was to now set this one to go off at 1711 and copy the operational settings to this one copy and paste send them both into the pending area they will launch at exactly the same time because the operational settings have been copied. So we can see the first one we launched now has actually been launched. It's deconvolving. We can see here if I view display status. There we go. It's actually doing the 3D deconvolution task and my further two sets are going to launch in one minute and 40 seconds. I can also add these sets and deconvolve them at a much later time so maybe I want to deconvolve this one overnight while I've gone home so I'm gonna, maybe I'm going to set it to a 3D inverse filter this time and I'm going to say I want you to do this at quarter past nine tonight pending and there we go it's going to launch in four hours five minutes and fourteen seconds okay well that's about it it's quite easy to use for more information please contact your local sales office or dealer Thank you.